Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would share how I made this aged brown planter pot. It has really warm and rich brown tones, perfect for fall, and I love that kind of calcified, calcium aged look on it. And I'm gonna show you how to get that look. So stick around, it's gonna be a fun video. If you haven't found me on Instagram, you can find me at Valerie Aguirre, where I share a lot of fun behind the scenes. We've got a lot of stuff going on, so be sure to check it out. Okay, so the backstory on the planter pot, I found this at Tuesday morning. It was $20 and I couldn't even believe it. I thought it was a really great pot. However, I was not crazy about those kind of painted on colors. They actually had a lot of them. This was another one in another color. So I thought I could definitely bring this home for 20 bucks and make it look a little bit more my style. I pulled out some of my craft paint. I can always mix colors and kind of get the look that I want without having to buy them. Like I said, this was a clay kind of terracotta um, planter and then it just had painted on colors. It's had like some reds and greens. I feel like it was meant to look kind of like that coppered, aged coppered look. Um, but in the video, it looks almost okay like they could have done that but up close I can just tell that it's paint and I just didn't like it so I am going to work some magic with some paint so I used paints that I had a lot of times I get paints from Hobby Lobby or Michaels this Anita's brand is from Hobby Lobby and this is in earth brown it's a really kind of earthy reddish brown um, a little bit too red so I'm gonna tone it down with a little bit more um, kind of a lighter beige and some chalk paint and the chalk paint will also really help kind of matte the paint a little bit. This paint is Craft Smart in Dark Taupe. I believe this one is from uh, Michaels and this one kind of has a grayy, beigey color. A bunch of oil came out because I didn't mix it. And so I'm just going to mix this in with the brown. It's gonna really tone down that kind of reddish color um, and make it a little bit more subtle and I'm just gonna use this color that I have mixed up for my base. So what you wanna do is kinda of layer in colors so that it gives it an aged look, but you are going to need a base color. So I'm definitely gonna be using this as my base. I'm okay with this color, but this is not gonna be the final result. So don't freak out if you are trying this at home. Um, it's not gonna be just this really flat um, color. And I just put this on, I believe this is like a two inch little paintbrush, super cheap little paintbrush, no rhyme or reason, just covering up all of that paint with this base color. If you are seeing some of my fall decor finds in the background, you are totally right. I still have not started my fall decorating. I hope to do that this week. We have been so busy with kitchen and painting and so much going on in there with kids so there has been a lot going on we've got another project going on with a friend of mine that I've been working like crazy on too so yes definitely stay tuned we will be fall decorating hopefully this week okay so here is the base coat like I said it's a little flat so we're gonna take some chalk paint and this is in the color castle chateau I believe and this is from Michaels. So this color is not really black, although you could use black and just tone it down a bit. It almost has a little bit of like a really, really dark gray color. So I'm going to mix just a little bit of this in with some of that brown color and just kind of mix it in on that pot. So I really want to um, exaggerate those lines in the middle and then around the handles and then that lip up on the top. I'm going to put a little bit more darker um, shades in there because naturally when something ages, dirt, dust will usually settle in those crevices. So you really want to enhance that and think about it naturally, how it would age, where it would age, um, where dust and dirt and those types of things would settle. So that's kind of where you want to 
add that just so that it gives it the most natural look possible. You can see I'm adding some really dark lines in there and then just kind of blending it out with a little tiny bit of brown, just mixing it in. It will dry so subtle and almost give it that kind of layered look with the colors, which is exactly what we want. So I just did my base layer and then those little darker colored accents and I'm gonna let it dry completely. I'm going to use this white cement that I had in the garage for another project. If you don't have this or can't get a hold of this, you can also use Plaster of Paris. You can find it on Amazon and I'll link it below as well. And I'm just gonna rub this on the pot and get it in all those little cracks and crevices, um, in all of those little lines. What this dried cement or powder is going to do is it's gonna settle in all of those little cracks and crevices. I really love using this on the clay and terracotta pots because it really settles in all of those little lines and just gives it a really aged look. I have similar videos doing this with the dirt on um, like a black pot or white pot or tan pot even, but I actually really like the way that the white looks. It almost looks like a calcified or calcium buildup um, when you continuously have water on like an old pot or a pot. Um, it The calcium will eventually age it and make these kind of white water spots, if you know what I'm talking about. And so this is almost just a shortcut to years and years of calcium buildup. Um, but I really love this look. I feel like it just has that perfect aged look without the years of calcium buildup. And like I said, we are just going to rub this all over in all of those little lines. You can even distress this even more if you wanted to. Um, but I think it has a lot of good distressing already, so I'm just really gonna make sure that I get it in there and cover it completely. And once I have everything completely coated and rubbed in really well, um, don't worry, it's not going to have this <laughs> kind of hazy look. I'm gonna take some um, of this clear matte spray paint. I use this on all of my pots just to seal everything and lock everything in so you don't have things falling off. This is just um, clear matte spray and it's really gonna lock everything in so that things aren't falling off and it's not dusty or dirty. Um, this really helps to mattify is that a word, mattify the um, pot and kind of lock in that look. So I'm gonna let this dry the rest of the day and then once it's completely dry, I'm gonna come in and style it. Yes, that is a can of enchilada sauce. <laughs> My tree is a little lopsided, so I'm gonna kinda level it off by placing that in there so that my tree stands up straight. I don't know how it got crooked, but it is, so yeah, enchilada sauce for the win. Um, and then I'm gonna just make sure that it stays secure in there by putting in a bunch of recyclable bags. We live in California, so we have all of the heavy duty bags, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna lock that in and secure it really well. And then I put this little moss type thing on a piece of cardboard. You can just put moss on top to finish it off, but I like to put it on a piece of cardboard so it's just one solid piece that kind of helps and that's going to be it. If you're interested in the tree that I'm using, I actually made that. It is a DIY. I will link the video for that here and also in the description. But yeah, I think that this pot turned out so beautiful. It has that perfect aged look, perfect for fall, such a pretty brown. And I'm actually thinking about giving this to my friend for her house and the project that we're working on. So sh don't tell her, hopefully she's not watching, but let me know in the comments below if you have started your fall decorating, if you like to decorate in September or wait till October. I am a little late this year, but I am getting there. So I think as long as we're ready by October, we'll be okay. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.